My name is Arun and I work at Furnace General Hospital in Morecambe Bay in the Northwest. And I'm currently in FY2 on post in a &E, and I'd like to go into a &E eventually. I've done uh, the PLAB2 course with Bromley a couple of years ago and I really liked it. And I was looking for courses to uh, increase my knowledge of sort of acute medicine slash emergency medicine um, and also to you know, document on my CV as an interest in acute medicine and emergency medicine. And um, I chose Bromley because they did such an amazing job with the PLAB2 course a couple of years ago, uh, not least of which is the catering, which is always amazing. So um, I had to come back and I'll actually be coming back in six weeks for the core ultrasound course and probably many more after that. Uh, the most useful thing for me was sort of twofold. Uh, first, I'll just give an answer that's more relevant to me was just meeting one of the a &E consultants who teaches here um, and gaining from his knowledge and wisdom uh, with respect to an audit idea because <laughs> I'm looking to do an audit in my department. Um, but more, I suppose, relevant to the course itself, uh, I feel that the echo was to me the most interesting or relevant because, you know, being able to see exactly what's happening uh, with the heart itself when there is a cardiac arrest uh, and a non-shockable rhythm, um, you know, an ECG is, is not always accurate. Uh, an echo has a much higher degree of precision. So being able to see that was amazing. And I hope to be able to use that in the future. Not that I hope to arrest, you know, to attend an arrest in the future, obviously, but if there is one, then I think Echo would be a great tool in potentially saving lives. I'd recommend this course to everyone, and in fact, I have, but so far I haven't had any takers, but I would uh, undoubtedly, uh, without any reservation, recommend this course to anyone interested in acute medicine or emergency medicine or anyone who just wants to increase the knowledge of various diagnostic modalities such as ultrasound.